It's time to dust off your favourite chair and sit in front of the big screen TV. Get a drink in your hand because it's five o'clock somewhere. Your number one host, the Thunder from Down Under, a man on a quest to make money for beer. Sparring DK presents... Relegation Regen Rebuild... PSG. Hello and welcome back to Relegation Regen Rebuild. Thank you very much for the continued support of this series. We are, of course, with Paris Saint-Germain. And uh, we sit in 19th position. The board is not happy. We need to be sitting in 17th or above just to keep the board happy. Uh, we will finish off the season in this episode. Uh, we've got two months of games left to play and uh, a lot of things to take care of. Can we hold our job? We're going to play three games. Um, let's go and have a quick look at the calendar. Uh, just keep in mind, look at the table here. Red Star, Grenoble. Chamois, Clement Foot, FCSM, US Orleans, Paris, and then AS Baziers. Right, so we've got FCSM coming up, uh, so we will play that game. Hopefully we can take some points there and, and, and close a little bit of the gap. And Clement Foot later uh, in the month as well, we'll play that game, and then we'll go into May, see where we're sitting. Uh, Grenoble, Red Star, and uh, Gazelec are there. So one of these two games we probably do need to play as well. We'll play three of the games. Hopefully that will get us enough points to get us into that 17th position. We're going to need some of the simulations to go our way. So let's jump into it with the play. Upgrade. Right, today's player upgrade comes in for our goalkeeper in Belcour. This one comes from Arsenal FC 14. Thank you for your comment. 78 thumbs up. Well done once again to everyone that put a thumbs up on it. This comment. He's gone with a tight fit kit, long sleeves, black Nikes, an untucked shirt, the number 31, and some high socks. And hopefully a new kit can turn his form around and he can really help us shut up shop at the back. Uh, let's get in it to this episode. Right, I did ask you for new countries and we'll do that once again. Now, I'm going to pre-record a couple of episodes here, so I will go and backtrack on some of the older episodes, see what else got thumbs up that didn't get picked. But get those comments down below in this one. Uh, and as we catch up, we'll make sure that the highest comments get out here. But, you know, just give some other lads a bit of a chance to maybe get onto the videos a little bit later than uh, when it is initially uploaded. Uh, but for this one, we're going out to uh, Cameroon. Racer Jake has the comment here with 57 thumbs up. Uh, physically strong. So off to Cameroon. Right, next up is the Turing Bus FIFA, and uh, he wants us to send Sancho Gallardo out to Argentina for wingers. 43 thumbs up. Yes, I think Sancho might be able to do that. Uh, let's head off to Argentina for wingers. And this final scouting mission, should I say, comes in from Flynn to the Bing to the Ling. Great name. Uh, he wants us to go to Brazil to find the next Ronaldinho. Technically gifted. 31 thumbs up. We're off to Brazil. All right, ladies and gentlemen, straight into the action in a game that could see uh, us make or break whether we get fired, to be fair. Uh, we're going to go back to this 3-5-1 uh, sort of formation. Uh, and Castile is going to start up front. It might be his debut, to be fair. He's a left winger from uh, from France. And, uh, you know, his finishing is about the same as Arnais. So it allows Arnais to be more of a, a playmaker, which is what we need him doing, setting up the play. And hopefully, with three at the back, we can hold on. I mean, at this stage, we're conceding a lot of goals. So really, we just need to find a way forward and somehow score. Let's get into this game against FCSM. And uh, hopefully, we can take three points, which would be massive for PSG season. All right, ladies and gentlemen, business time here for PSG. We need to find some points desperately. The board has been knocking on the door and said, look, Aguado, you need to turn this team around, put in a bit of a shift here towards the end of the season, or you may be out the door. And, uh, well, that would be just absolutely catastrophic because uh, we've got some high talent coming through. We're just not quite ready. Hopefully, the future allows us to keep our job and uh, we can look forward to the future. They are the lowest scoring team. We are the 18th lowest scoring team. So, we've got a lot of work to do here at PSG. But let's get into this game and see if we can take three points on the road. Oh, Belcour caught into action early. And a good little save there from the Frenchman. Hopefully, this corner doesn't go sour. Drives his way forward. Laser back off. Arnais has made the run through. Here is the captain. Oh! Frostbar. And it's Diaby. Plays forward, Arnais. Tries to get a cross in here. And there is a header. That's from uh, Castile. No, Kamara, I think. Oh, they've got one through the back door here. Oh my days, that's a huge goal. And we're just struggling to find any momentum in this game. It sees us 1-0 down and 
The board already issuing statements to get rid of Roberto Aguado on his first season in control. Now that is a lovely finish. And we are 1-0 down here on the road. He's going to need a couple. We need a victory here desperately. Belcourt completely wrong-footed. It's 1-0. Well, there's the half-time whistle. We can't even get a touch of the ball at the moment. 1-0. Delano. Arnais. Kamara. Oh, fucking hell. Well, they've got a corner now, and they're all over us like a cheap suit. We've just got no answer to everything that they're throwing at us. I'm going to come in again here. And give away the penalty. We need to uh, have a red-hot look. They are getting shots in possession, and we are really struggling. Oh, for fuck's sake! You're all useless! You're all fucking useless! 2-0 down! Naguano's going to be walked out the door. Fuck's sake! Can't let a fucking tackle. Can't do shit. Fuck me. Controlling the space, trying to do everything we possibly can. And it's just poor marking, poor defensive work, poor goalkeeping, and a poor fucking team. 2-0, season over. Can't even get a fucking touch of the ball right now, for fuck's sake! Right, three changes. Bamba, Polino, and Henriquez check in for Cissé, Diaby, and Kamara. It's just not good enough, boys. Polino out wide. Fresh legs, Bamba. Come on, son. Fucking run. Contact. Why is everyone so fucking stagnant? Fucking hate it. Move, you cunts. Oh, my days. Caught out at the back again. And there's another fucking goal. Absolute dog shit, this team. Absolute Fucking dog shit. I'll be happy if they're all fucking sold if we manage to keep our job. What a load of shit. Headless chickens at the back. 3 0. Yeah, there's the whistle. 3 0. Absolutely pantsed. And Aguano's going to be lucky to keep his job here. We just got smashed. Eight shots to four. No possession. And just nothing we could get out of this game here today. And uh, why don't I go to that screen? We need to look at performances because people need to be uh, accountable here. Koulibaly didn't have too bad a day in the office with five defensive efforts. Galano with four. Leconte with 6.7. Castell, while well, I tried him up front, he didn't even get a shot. Enriquez, 6.54 for Bamba. 6.2 Polino. 6.6 for Arnaez. 6.5 Diaby. 7.2 for Cissé with four defensive efforts. Just under the pump the entire game. Belcour, well, he got shafted. 6.9 for Branco. Garcia did nothing. Another tough day at the office, and, uh, well, will Aguado be still here in the morning? Right, let's get our training done. James ward wants Valente on defending scenarios. Jim Zhao Whale wants Polino trained on gold. Free kicks. Tony Roberts, 14, with Cissé on some gold attacking. William Main wants Valente trained on penalties. Okay, boys. And the final one, again, from James ward who just says, train the goalkeepers. Get them up quick. Well, Belcour is going to need something or he will be out the door very soon, maybe before Aguado. Right, Valente to 41. Right, home here to FC Lorient. Galano gets an injury in the first minute. We really need a victory here at home. And we get one. 1-0. One yes, boys. Bamba's red carded. Who cares? It's three points in the bank. Well, our manager rating is at 48, and the bad news comes in that Galano has torn his hamstring. He's going to be missing for six weeks. Right, we are on the road here against Havre FC, desperate for a victory. And it's a 1-1 draw. Home game here against VAFC. We need a victory. We need three points, and we get it here. It's a 1-0 victory. The captain getting an all-important goal. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Game number two, we're taking on Clement Foot. We need a victory, there's no doubt about it, or Aguado is going to be walked out the door. Uh, I'm going to stick with the standard formation here. Uh, we need to find some goals. We need to be defensive as well. The team's not full fit, that's for sure. There's been a lot of games in the last few days, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get a victory here today. Come on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Season pretty much on the line here in this game. We need the three points. Currently sitting in 18th position. We need to get up to 17th or higher. We need three points desperately. There's no doubt about it. Can we get the job done here today? Fingers crossed we can. Branko. Bam. Kamara. Polino. Plays it forward. Is he onside? He might be at Cissé. It's 1-0 to PSG. Get in, lad. Just the start we needed. Cissé gets 
the goal. And PSG on the front foot here early. Oh, that is just wonderful stuff here. These boys have been absolutely pants this season. And just on side gets the finish. And it's 1-0 here to PSG. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. No, we'll take that any day of the week. I don't care how we score. Aguano just trying to hold on to his job. 1-0. So Cissé lays off. Koulibaly back for Cissé. He's got one Cissé. Drives his way forward here. To look for a cross inside. It's cleared away. Leconte gets the head up. Polino gets a touch. Cleared away by the defence. So you say plays one through. Kamara, not much left in the tank. Finds Bamba. Here's Bamba. Got in! Come on, PSG! 2 0. Bamba with the goal. We catch him on the break. Oh, this is a better performance here from Paris Saint Germain. Gets in. And Bamba, who's been down on four, found himself with an anchor of space and gets a clinical finish to make it 2 0. Get in. Garcia, Kamara, Bamba, back to Kamara, he's the link-up man, finds Polino, trying to lay it off, Kamara, oh, gonna have to make that substitution at half-time, good from Henriquez, finds Polino, oh! Oh, great save, Belcourt, great fucking save, clear that fucking ball out, yes boys, that's better defence. Ball out wide for Cissé, just can't quite control it. And there's half time, a spirited first half, it's 2-0. Right, these boys are absolutely spent and uh, we're going to have to make some changes. We've got two left, they'll be made right now. Polino checks out for Vlasic, Leconte checks out for Valente. Cesar Valente. Because it's been done, here's the strike. Oh, it's off the crossbar and good from Garcia. Cesar Valente, can he set something up here? Cesar Valente! Good work from Henriquez. Corner, five minutes to go. This will be a good turn of form here if PC can come through with the goods. Here's the head up. Oh, Belcourt, great save. Cesar Valente. Mendoza. Lays off. Vlasic! Yes! Come on, son! 3-0 PSG! Oh, this is a better turn of four. Vlasic with the goal. The 90th minute, that side sealed and delivered three points here for PSG. Oh, it's a wonderful turnaround. Gets in. Valente with the assist. And a lovely strike from Vlasic. It's 3-0. And a big goal on a big day for PSG and Roberto Aguado. Gets in. And there it is, a victory, 3-0 for PSG. So 11's just at 8, a tough, tough game there for the boys, but they've got up 3-0. Uh, Kamara was uh, inspirational until he ran out of juice at halftime, but gets the assist at an 8.5, 8-2 for Polino with an assist, 7-8 for Leconte, 7-7 for Belcour, 8 saves today from him, brilliant effort, 7-9 for Branco, 7-9 Garcia, 7-5 Henriquez, 7-8 Koulibaly, 4 intercepts, 7-1 for Lante, didn't get the assist, but Mendoza with an 8.3 did get an assist. 8.5 for Bamba with a goal. And 8 for Vlasic with a lovely finish there at the end. And Cissé gets a goal for an 8.5. Arneas with a 7. Um, brilliant, brilliant performance. And hopefully a sign of things to come in the future. Season still on the line, chasing a victory here at home against Grenoble Foot. And we get it. It's a 2-1 victory. Well done, lads. Let's keep this roll going. First scout report is back from Cameroon and uh, Kuruuma. He's 67 to 91. We'll monitor him further. Canare, 72 to 94. Looks okay, but I'm going to monitor him a little bit more. And uh, Yusudama, 72 to 94. Now, this lad could be a centre back. I'm going to bring him into the academy. Right, we are here in Argentina. We've got Telmo Lucero, 55 to 73, 77 to 94. We'll be coming into the academy. And uh, Flavio Carvajal, 78 to 94. I'm just going to monitor for another month, but Lucero definitely checking in. We are here in Brazil. We've got Afonso Cabral, 74 to 94, and Carlos Lins, 73 to 94. Uh, Cabral looks pretty decent, but I just want to give him another month here uh, to scout as well as Lins. 
So let's take a look at our current academy. Philippe Belcour, 79 to 94. Uh, Silvera, 79 to 85, has dropped away the centre back, but we have picked up a new one, so I am going to release him. Uh, Xavier Bowdry, the goalkeeper, 80 to 94. Valet, 73 to 94, 57 overall, looking okay. Yusudama, 57 overall centre back, 72 to 94, potential physically strong. Welcome to the first team. We need some more defence options. Adriano Amarel still not ready, but 81 to 91 potential. Risi, 62 overall, 75 to 89. We'll just let him marinate in the uh, academy uh, along with Moretti, but we might sign them at the end of the season to try and generate some cash. Uh, Carlos Pitiera, 78 to 86, a playmaker. In fact, I'm going to release him. Okay, Telmo Lasura, 60 overall, technically gifted central attacking midfielder, 77 to 94 potential. Welcome to the first team. And we've also got Pierre Gauthier, 60 overall, 60, 79 to 93 potential. Right, we're into a new month. Let's get some new training options. Ronaldo Jr. wants Charpentier trained on corners and long passing. Shadow Greninja wants Valente trained on defending. Vayman, the director, wants us to train Valente on some dribbling drills. Right, Melchior Mulder wants Russo trained on penalties. Uh, Russo, I think, is still injured, but uh, maybe we should train Arneas on penalties. We do need a penalty taker. Uh, I'll just check on Russo. Right, unfortunately, Russo is still injured, so we'll train Arneas up on penalties. And the final one is from Hurt McDirt, who wants Valente trained on long, star, uh, long passing as well. We've already got the long passing. Let's get his short passing done. Right, Valente. Everyone loves Valente at this stage. And uh, there we go, up to a 45. Right, the second last game of the season. And uh, Red Star in 17th. We are in 18th. It's a must-win game. CSAN gives us the lead in the 17th minute just to try and propel us up the table and keep Roberto Aguano's job. We've got the lead here at halftime. Can we hold on to it? It's a big game here for PSG. They miss a penalty. Come on, boys. Yes, it's 2-0 through CSAN. And it's a 2-0 victory. Get in, boys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. It's the final game of the season, and we still need to get points in this one. If Red Star win and we lose, we'll drop below into that 18th position, and Aguano could be walked out the door. So uh, there's no doubt about it. We still need to play for everything here. A big game here for PSG. Let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The final game of the season. Will Roberto Aguano be able to keep his job? He's brought this team back from the brink here in the last few games and uh, clawed a few points to, you know, keep the board happy. Hopefully today the boys can show up. Uh, I'm sure they'll want to go around again. And let's get into this game. Cissé scored a few goals, starting to find a bit of touch out on that left-hand side. And hopefully he can find a few more bangers today. Let's do this. Finds out wide. Bamba makes the push. Still comes Bamba. Looks inside and looks deep. Clear the weight. Kamara gets the touch, decides to retreat. Branco plays it back inside. Leconte, quick touch on. Here is Kamara. He sets something up. Lays it back inside. Leconte, quick touch on. Polino. Back off for Kamara. Trying to pull the trigger. Leconte recovers. Back off for Kamara. Just spits out the back. Can really take a touch. Polino. Oh, it's a lovely outlet ball. Bamba's made the run. What's he got left in the tank? Bamba. Decides to come back. Bamba, come on, son. Don't be selfish. Oh, fucking class goal. I've got forward. Barely looked like scoring. And there they are in the 38th minute taking the lead. And a big crushing blow to our season. We need points here desperately. And unfortunately, we've given up the GOAT. We just don't have enough pace at the back to get back and, and defend the way we would like yet. Unfortunately, we see ourselves 1-0 down. Holy shit, his leg's just gone through itself to get that finish. 1-0. Polino over the top. Arneas making the push. There is the skipper. Gets it, son! 1-1! One, one. Brilliant time to score on the cusp of half time. And the captain leading from the front gets us back in the game. Oh, a lovely little bit of a chip of bitch over the top of it. And a fuck off, you bitch. It's a goal of it. 1-1, one, one. delivery, and the skipper, lovely finish, cool as you like, 1-1, one, one. and there is the halftime whistle, a big second half here coming up, oh, cool Bali. almost gave it away, Belcourt with the save, and we'll clear here through Kamara, 
finds Bamba. Needs to get going here today. Lays it forward and Kamara just goes... Nah, there's no ball there. He was invisible. He didn't see it. Van Colt down the line. Found Bamba. He's pushing forward again, Bamba. Cuts back. Here's the delivery inside. Oh, Kamara got a touch. I think he was offside. Right, 10 minutes left. Let's make the changes. Castell, Nezovic and Vidal check in for Cissé, Kamara and Paulinho. Vidal goes up front. We need a goal. And Anais will go back to uh, central attacking midfield. Conte plays one forward. Branco makes the charge. There is Bamba. Look back inside. Here's the delivery. Vidal! Oh, good save! Conte. Nezovic. Pulls the trigger. Oh, side bar. Oh, no. Side bar again. Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? Fuck off, man. For fuck's sake, 11 shots to one. How did we not score there at the end? Oh, I hope that isn't season over. 8.4 Polino with an assist. 6.5 for Cisse. 7.1 Kamara. 6.7 for Belcour. 7.9 for Branco. 6.8 Garcia. 7.2 Henriquez. 6.9 Koulibaly. 7.2 for Nesvich. 8.1 for Leconte. 7.8 for Bamba. 7.9 for Arnaz with a goal. 5.9 Castell. 6.5 for Didel. How did you miss that chance? Oh my god. Fingers crossed. Fingers fucking crossed. Right, a youth player wants out in Matteo Rishi. Now, uh, here's the goalkeeper that's 62 overall, 75 to 89 potential. Uh, we will bring him in. I've got to be very careful, though. We've only got about three or four spots left on the roster at the moment because, obviously, we've still got all of those free agents sitting here that we cannot get rid of until next season. Um, so we will make this signing, and uh, hopefully not too many more asked to be called up because uh, there's not a lot of squad depth spots available. But uh, welcome to the team, Matteo Rishi. On scout reports are back from Cameroon. We're still looking at Kuruma, uh, 72 to 92, and Kanare, 67 to 87. So you can see there he has dropped away. We've also got Alpha Harbour, 66 to 88, which we'll monitor further. He is six foot four. Still here in Argentina, Flavio Carvajal, still 80 to 94. And we've also picked up Julio Dominguez, 69 to 93, and Eugenio Gallardo, 61 to 85. Great name, but uh, not sure he's got the potential. We'll scout him into next season. And we are, of course, here in Brazil. Afonso Cabral still looking okay at 74 to 94. And Carlos Lin, 76 to 94. We've also picked up Pedro Jesus, 70 to 94. And I'm actually liking the look of this lad, so we're going to bring him straight into the academy. Right, so let's have a look at our academy for the final time for this season. For Elite Abelcourt, 50 overall, 80 to 90 potential. I don't think he's going to... Uh you know, do too much here, unfortunately. Uh, we're really waiting on Adriano Amarel as our big forward. Um, but, you know, he could play a part. I mean, he's not far off uh, what most of our strikers are at this stage. Uh, but I just really don't have the spots for him. We'll leave him there for now. Boundary, 85 to 94, looking the goods. Cedric Vallet, 58 overall, 80 to 94 potential. Uh, we really don't need left midfielders, and we can't give him the game time just yet, so we'll hold him for now. Adriano Amaral, oh, that potential has dropped, 83 to 89. Uh, but, you know, it still will be a unit. Pedro Jesus, 62 overall centre midfielder. Brilliant. 70 to 94 potential. Welcome to the first team. That's a big pickup. Uh, Luca Moretti, 62 overall, 72 to 88. Um, probably worth bringing in as well for a sale. Um, so we will promote him to the senior team. All right, let's take a look at the top scorers for this season. I don't think we really had anyone going along uh, for PSG because... Uh, we really failed to get going. Arnais with our top scorer there in 25th position with nine. Assist-wise, well, we didn't score a lot of goals, but Arnais there with six. Um, and that is it. Clean sheets. Well, we must have got a couple here. Belcour's got six from 30. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit rough, mate. Uh, Kaif was our original goalkeeper who got two from six, the free agent. <laughs> okay. Right, we have a very stacked squad here, 52 players, but a lot of those will make their way out. We'll probably clear up 15 or 16 uh, going into the new season, hopefully being able to get rid of uh, a lot of these free agent players and then hopefully start selling a few of our players to start encroaching on that $100 million debt. Belcour is a 70 up 14, of course, uh, no potential. So uh, we'll see what happens there. He might get a few uh, offers. He's got a valuation of 1.7 million. Uh, Rishi's showing great potential, 62 overall, value 550. 
Fellaini showing great potential, 66 up one. Uh, that's okay. Moretti showing great potential, 62, 500 grand. So there's some money, but only like two or three million. Uh, Rossi potential to be special, 63 up one. Uh, hopefully he sticks around. Branko 64 up five, showing great potential with an 875 evaluation. Sandoval is a 56 up 12 with a fair bit of training, still only valued at 130 grand. We've got Garcia 64 up seven, valued at 450. Dama we've just brought in a 57 overall centre back, right back. 210 evaluation. What's he got going there? A four-star weak foot as well and high defensive work rate. Good to see. We're a prospect for the future. Valente has gone up eight with some heavy training. He's a 47, of course, valued at 70 grand. And he's got all the stats to be a superstar of the future. Koulibaly, 62 up six with no potential. 425 evaluation. Ribeiro, 59 up six with a 300 grand evaluation. We've also got Galano, potential to be special. 63 up five with an 850 evaluation. Enriquez showing great potential, 65 up four with a million dollar evaluation. Leconte is a 65 up four with a million dollar evaluation. And we've also got Grasso showing great potential, 61 up one, he's valued at 550. Pasquier is a 54 up three, valued at 140. Kamara 65 up three, showing great potential with a value of 1.1. Mendoza 61 up four, exciting prospect with a value of 550. Pedro Jesus, 62 overall, an exciting prospect. What's he got in the locker? Three star, four star, medium, low work rates. That'll blue. Uh, Nezovic 61, no potential, valued at 375. Charmantier has a 56 up four, valued at 200 grand. Diaby, no potential, 61 up four, valued at 525. His brother Eve is showing great potential, 64 up four, valued at 929. Cissé, potential to be special, 68 up eight. We've probably put a bit too much training into this lad, uh, valued at two million. Uh, so we'll see how he goes. And uh, then we've got Vlasic, 62 up one with no potential, 550. Lucero is an exciting prospect, 61 up one, 575 evaluation. He's got three star, three star, and low, low work rates. Brilliant, A8, brilliant. Arne is 72 up six this season, valued at 7 million. Tavares, 58 up two. Uh, valued at 325. Polino showing great potential, 65 up two, valued at 1.1. Uh, we've got Roussey just back from injury, 57 up of eight, valued at 220. Vidal, 53 up seven, valued at 130. We've got uh, Bamba, 64, up three, showing great potential, valued at 900. Castell has potential to be special, 62, up two, valued at 650. Uh, Kamara is uh, 58, up five, valued at 300. Menza is a 60, no potential, up five, valued at 425. So a lot of these lads you can feel will be up for sale as we try and... Uh, Weasel this squad back down so we can bring more top talent in and start chipping away at that $100 million deficit. Right, just taking a quick look at the top flight and Monaco have roasted away with it. Uh, Paris FC have dropped back to third and a lot of aging players there. You could see that they uh, might uh, have lost a few. Now let's have a look here. Tulu, who had the Buffon region, have finished last. Uh, Strasbourg and Cern. So uh, I'm assuming that those three teams come down and uh, make our life in League 2 a little bit more difficult. Right, let's get some player upgrades ready for you guys. Let's upgrade Roussey uh, back from injury. And uh, he will be called upon here in season number two. So if you want to change his number or his kit, let me know. Now, if he gets sold before we get there, unfortunately, you miss out. But uh, good luck with your upgrade. I'm assuming he'll be still around. Uh, I don't think many teams will be after a 57-rated striker just yet. And it seems everyone wants a piece of Cesar Valente. So uh, let's get the lad upgraded. And uh, good luck with your comments. Right, so League 2 finishes off with Mets taking it. Agencia will be going up as well. I guess there's playoffs. I'm not sure how the French League works. Maybe you guys can let me know. But Stabristot and RC Lens there, uh, I guess they're in a playoff or something like that. Uh, let's go and check on the Champions League and see how Paris FC went. Right, Paris FC uh, got knocked out in the group stages. Uh, Liverpool eventually going through. And it was actually won by Juventus over Liverpool 1-0. So, Paris Saint... Germain have finished in 17th position. Aguado should be able to hold on to his job here. We just scraped through at the end of the season by the skin of our teeth. A lot of work to do here in season number two. Now, uh, this season has been very accelerated. Only four episodes to get through an entire season. We've been going through three months worth of uh, games. Now, what I'm going to do for season two is I'm going to slow it down just slightly. Uh, we're going to go probably two months per episode. I'll still play the three games and just start pulling us in and starting to work out what our team is. The reason this series is so accelerated at the start, though, is because FIFA 20 is only like 16 weeks away. 
the last relegation regen rebuild was like 120, 130 odd episodes because we started a lot earlier in the year and it was daily uploading. So I need to accelerate this a little bit more. I did read through the comments. It was about a 50-50 split on whether we uh, play all the games for season number two. But I think what we'll do is we'll slow it down slightly. We'll play two months per episode. Um, until we get through another one while we build this team up. We've obviously got to sell off those, those players. There's so much work to do here before we even look at getting into League One and having a star-studded team to have a red-hot crack. So thank you very much for joining me here in Season Number One. Season Number Two, just around the corner. We will see you in the next video. I'm Spryan DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, and you have a good one. This video is powered by Neurotech and their product, Clarity. Now you can jump over to their website now, use the discount code DK10 for 10% off your next purchase. And uh, I highly recommend this product, I use it every single day. It increases your energy, your focus, while reducing fatigue and stress. If you wanna know how I get out all these videos and keep that work going, this is the product for you. So go and check it out. All the information that you need is on that website. If you feel like making a purchase, chuck in at that discount code for 10% off. Now, if you are looking for more fresh content to check out, you can click one of these two videos. If you feel like subscribing, well, there's a button right there. Make sure you put on that notifications bell, and we'll see you next time.